Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an itinerant minister, an author, an addiction recovery coach, life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under our channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Embrace and enjoy your life starting today. May the Lord bless you from, from above. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see children's children, peace beyond Israel, and all God's children. In today's ever-changing status quo, I began my day by, uh, by thanking God for waking me up to breathe again, unsure of his purpose and exact plan each day for me, or why everything in the world we live in seems to be immensely chaotic, I do know if God has awakened me for another day, there is a purpose for it. How often do we take a moment to embrace and enjoy the gift of another day before diving into our news reels and social media feeds? God's blessings goes with his people everywhere, even when they are not in Jerusalem the for uh, the people of God, the blessings of God is in all those who are indwelt by His Holy Spirit. No matter if they're in Jerusalem, Long Island, uh, Virginia, wherever, we often get caught up in our culture's way of calculating a successful life and achievements and possessions, forgetting to embrace the literal breath of everyday life. And that uh, praising can happen anywhere in Europe, Africa. What if we approached every day with a grateful heart for the? breath in our lungs. Instead of striving for what we think will make us happy, can we embrace the joy of God and uh, the the joy that God gives us in Christ to sustain us? Christ died for us to live a life to the fullest, not to live in fear and what each day will bring. The world has always been turned on its head until Christ returns to set it right. Rooting our hope in him allows us to embrace and enjoy life. After all, God promises his plans for us uh, and his promises are more than what we ask for and more than we can imagine. As anyone who has lived to meet their great-grandchildren, uh, not in my case, I only have grandchildren, would most certainly agree if you've met people like that. And we can glean from their notes of wisdom Life blessed because we are. That's what a great grandfather would say or mother. Father, help us to embrace and enjoy the life you've given us to live. We are not accidentally here on earth. Each day we awake to breathe. You faithfully meet us to, uh, with purpose. We lift our anxiety and our worry to you, almighty God. Today, as we seek to embrace your peace and promises, we confess our tendency to condemn, criticize, and compare instead of embracing the peace and blessings you have showered over us. You have showered them into our lives. During trying seasons and relatively easy days, help us to see and remember you in all situations. We never know what our world 
is going to throw at us, but you do. You never change, Holy Spirit. Faithfully nudge and remind us that we are your children, children of God, freed from the chains of sin by Christ's sacrifices on the cross and resurrection and assertion to heaven where he is seated by the Father. Bless our minds to remember and embrace the freedom, hope, and joy and peace we have in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. It starts today, a brand new life. Reach out to God. Call me at 844 help because you and I, we can pray together. We can talk to God together. We can share stories together. And remember, simple smile to anyone can change that person's life and you make a difference in your life. John um, 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. How many of you parents out there watching me, your grandparents would give up your grandchildren, children for the sake of humanity? God did it for us because we wouldn't, but God would, did it. He, he has done it for us. May God bless you, and we'll talk to you later.